بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ویلکم بیک ٹو وٹ ٹو مائی یور ٹیپ چینل سو وی اسٹارٹ ان ڈسکسنگ دی اولڈ ریگولیٹر سرکٹس اینڈ دا تھنگ از یو آر ہیئرنگ بیک گراؤنڈ نوائز از آئی ایم ہیئرنگ از سو آئی ہیو آلریڈی ٹول یو دا تھنگ از وٹ کین وی ڈو دا اونلی تھنگ دیٹ وی کین ڈو از جسٹ اگنور اٹ رائٹ اینی ویز سو وولٹیج ریگولیٹر سرکٹس The I told you about, uh, this is the circuit, yes? I told you about the line regulation in which the input is variable, load is constant. I told you about the load, variation, load regulation where this is uh, constant, load is changing and input is constant, right? So I've told you, but the thing is we could also have both of them fixed. right so let's say we see the first case over here is that both of them are fixed the first case is that both input voltage and rl are fixed so this is again repetition to the previous video you could say if you understand this you could just simply go on to the example part directly so again first you have to determine what you have to determine the 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 state of the diode right you have to determine the state of that and how is that by applying the the by knowing the voltage across it so the voltage across it is v output right so you say you say directly equal greater than vz you don't say it directly right so what do we say v output was what in the previous video we have calculated it right we have calculated it and what was that what was that let me know hurry up or or let us just go in a stepwise just one more time if 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 i open circuit this if this is my load this is my resistance r this is my input and i'm open circuiting this so the current will flow over here this is rl right and this is the voltage across it that is your plus minus v not this is let's say a v potential plus to minus n to p right yes so a current would flow that means what that v i is equal to what i times r plus i times r l so which means what that i becomes equal to v i divided by r plus r l yes yes now what do you have you have the output is i times r l so which means what which is equal to rl into vi divided by r plus rl so which means that this voltage v the input voltage should be greater than no sorry this thing should be greater than the zener potential this thing should be greater than the zener potential which means what that if this is let's say v so this v should be greater than vz so this v is what v is this thing v i times r l divided by r plus r l this should be greater than v z which is the value of v right or you could say that the input voltage should be greater than r plus r l divided by r l times v z fine yes so what is the thing the first thing is if you say that input voltage is less than vz if this not input voltage i'm again confusing it this voltage okay so if this voltage is less than vz if this voltage is less than vz what would you have you would have no breakdown and if you have no breakdown you would have an open circuit you know that yes yes so the equivalent circuit would be the same as over there let me for instance draw it over here again this would be the case right right so what would you do what would you do you can say if this current is i for instance the i r let's say let's say this current is i load i l because this is through the load resistance r l so the current that was going to flow through the zener diode so i z would be zero and i i resistant i i r would be equal to i l right and similarly the power dissipated power dissipated would be zero across the zener diode and i r is equal to i l so the value is over there you have v input divided by r plus r l 
and power dissipated across the diode is zero. Yes, yes. V R is I R times R. You could find it out. Yes, yes. V R is I R times R. V L is I L times R. So this is if the voltage, if that voltage is less than the Zener potential, voltage across the Zener diode is less than the Zener potential. So V Z is basically not the voltage across the Zener diode. You, I get confused over here. You also don't have to confuse it. V Z is basically the Zener potential of the diode. The voltage across the diode is this V that I have named it for instance over here, which is equal to the output voltage over here in this circuit. Right? Right. So the next case could be that the voltage across the diode, that is V, is greater than the Zener potential. This is the case. The Zener diode would break down. And if it breaks down, you have to represent it by its Zener potential, Vz. Right? Yes. Considering the ideal model, of course. If you want to have the, the resistance as well, you can involve it. That's your choice. We will be considering the Zener, the, the Zener potential only. So you would have it like this. So plus to minus, right? Because n to b is a plus to minus. So you would have this. This is my input voltage. This is my resistance R. This is the current flowing through the resistor IR. The current flowing through the zener is IZ. And then you have what? The current, this is load resistance RL. The current flowing is IL. This is the zener potential VZ. And the output is taken across. This is the V output. I hope it is clear. It is. So, you can check out for the cases. You can check out what is this? IR would be equal to IZ plus IL, KCL, right? At this note. Then V, then uh, IR is what? V input minus VZ upon R. Yes? Yes. IR. V input minus vz upon r yes yes so you can put it over here i l i l is v l upon r v z upon r v not upon r right yes so you can see from here that i z you can find out i z you have IR, you have IL, so you can find out IZ, which would be equal to IR minus IL. So V input minus VZ upon R minus V naught or VZ upon R. So V naught in most cases is unknown. You have VZ basically, VZ upon R. Uh, L, RL of course. So this is the case and in this case you would have a power dissipated through the zener diode and that power dissipated pz is equal to iz times vz and the maximum power dissipated is the maximum current times vz because vz is constant and iz and iz would be maximum in that case fine and one confusing point one confusing point the maximum power dissipation is equal to the minimum power rating yes yes We'll see it in the examples as well, but the most confusing the examiners would try to confuse you is with that the maximum power dissipated through a diode would be Pz max, which is equal to Iz max times Vz. That's the maximum power dissipated. Now, if they ask you about the minimum power rating, so the minimum power rating is again the same thing. Yes, but mostly most of you get confused and for the minimum power rating, you multiply IZ minimum with VZ and that gets wrong. Yes, yes. So, the maximum power dissipated by diode is what? It is the minimum power rating. It's the minimum power rating of that device. 
Of course, it should be somewhat greater, but I was just trying to enhance the, the confusing point over here. So anyway, this is, these are the two cases that could be formed over here when both VI and RL are fixed. We can have an example. We can have an example. So let's say the book has discussed an example over here. And what is that? So let me draw it. The xenodiode network is shown like this. You have an example that is, let me write the number as well, 2.26. 2.26 is the example number you have a voltage source of 16 volts constant plus minus V and then you have what or it's the same circuit so so I don't need to draw the circuit again you have this circuit the the parameters I would write that the input voltage is given is 16 volts right uh, then you have what the value of R is given as 1 kilo ohms then you have uh, Vz is 10 volt, 10 volts. Vz is 10 volts. The power rating that is uh, that is the Pz maximum. Pz maximum is given is 30 milliwatts. Uh, and RL is 1.2 kilo ohms. RL is 1.2 kilo ohms. Yes, yes. So determine VL, VR. So this V naught, they have named it over here as VL, right? So VL, VR, IZ and PZ. IZ and so this I should not have written this like this, but anyways, PZ, these are the unknown quantities. These are the unknown quantities. So have a look. You've got all the formulas over here. VL is IL times RL. IL is unknown. Let me show it over here that this would be your I. This is your IZ. And this would be your IL. So first of all, what can you find from here? You have VI. No, no, no. First, the state of the diode. First, you have to determine the state of the diode. So, state of the diode depends on what? On this value of V. So, this value of V is what? So, let's calculate. Let's calculate. And what is the thing? VI times RL. V, which is equal to VI times RL. So, VI is 16 volts. RL is 1.2 into 10 power 3. And then you have over here is R, which is 1. And then you have a 1.2. And this is whole into 10 power 3. So please find this value. Please calculate this value. This comes out to be 8.73 volts. 8.73 volts. So 8.73 volts, have a look. This V is less than the Zener diode. This, this is the less than the Zener potential. V is less than the Zener potential. So which means that you have no breakdown. You have an open circuit. You have this case. You have this case, the green color case. Yes. So I did not intentionally use the green color. Okay. Anyways. So if this is the case, so you have what? Your IZ is unknown, IZ is 0, IZ is 0. PZ is unknown, PZ is 0. VL and VR are unknown. Yes, yes. So, VR is IR times R. So we can find out the value of the current which is equal to the value of the current would be equal to IL which is equal to IR and this would be equal to VI which is 16 divided by R plus RL 1 plus 1.2 whole 10 power 3 what is the value of the current I will just see directly from here the current is where is the current value or wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you can do it this way you can do it this way the book has done it easier how is that how is that you can find out the current that's no problem you just find it out i don't have a calculator over here fine and just put it multiplied with these values anyways you can do it this way right 
find the voltages or you could see directly that v l is what v l is simply equal to v this open circuited voltage right which is equal to this so you could directly write it over here v l is equal to v which is 8.73 volts right and similarly v r so v r is a voltage across this resistor you have a voltage at this point you have a voltage at this point you could directly minus them from each other v r would simply be equal to v i minus v l which is 16 minus 8.73 whatever it is this is your example number one is done you have a second part to this we have a second part to this in which we consider the resistance to be uh, wait where is it in the second part the resistance have to be a load resistance is 3 kilo ohms in the second part this was part A of the circuit Part B is that your load resistance RL is 3 kilo ohms. Now what do you have? Again do the same things. So find out V. Find out this V. You have uh, this formula is given. You have V input. You have RL. You have R plus RL. This comes out to be 12 volts. Which is. Uh, no. Not 12 volts. Yes 12 volts. So this is greater than Vz, right? So this is greater than Vz, which is equal to 10 volt. So which means, now this is the case. Now what do you do? You have to find out, uh, you, you can find out each and everything. IR, you have Vi, you have Vz, you have R, IL, you can, you can find out from these formulas. You want me to do it? Let me do it. Let me do it. VL would simply become equal to Vz. VL has become simply equal to VZ in this case, which would be equal to 10 volts. So VL is done. Now we are what the IR times R and IR you can find from here. IR would be what? IR would be V input 16 minus VZ 10 divided by R, uh, which is 1 kilo ohms, of course. So this would become a 6 milliampere. 6 milliampere IR, please check. Please check. IR is 6 milliampere. Yes? Yes. VR is I times R. VR what becomes 6 into 1.2. Whatever it is. What is it? Please check. VR is 6 volts. 6 volts. I made a mistake somewhere. Yes. Why? Because R is this one. R is 1, so this is a 6 volt directly. So VR is done. Now IZ is what? IZ is IR minus IL. So IZ is IR minus IL and IL you can find from here. VL upon RL. So you can do it, right? Why are you just teasing me? I just get bored with these calculations. So IL, this would be VL and VL is 10 and divided by our RL which is 1.2 whatever is the value you just do it you have IR you have I you have IL so you can find out IZ and you find out IZ so then you can find out PZ which would be you have the value of VZ from the beginning you have IZ from here and that is it so I finished this video over here I, I got a little bored and I get bored in what while doing the calculations. So anyway see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.